everyone and welcome to Thoughts of the Week. You know what, this is one of my favorite things to do here because creating that space for me for a whole week to think about something and really observe in my coaching, something to communicate um, to you guys have actually increased my awareness level of what it is that I do. And I'm just so humble and so grateful that I get to be um, a catalyst in so many people's lives for, for good. I mean, it's, it's in a humble way of saying that because I just, sometimes I pinch myself that I have so many people that are willing to talk to me about some deep core issues that they have. And I am very, very grateful for that. And I'm grateful to be in the position I'm in right now. And I'm grateful that this podcast has taken off the way it has because it's, that is a very, very humbling aspect of things too. We were ranking number 30 in the world here uh, Monday morning and number 18 in the business segment, which is awesome. And that's because of all your downloads and your comments. And I really, really appreciate that. So thank you, thank you, thank you for listening and downloading and sharing and your comments. And I get so many people who are binge listening and want more content, so we're going to try it. What I want to talk about today though, is uh, it's, it's kind of more of a personal subject because two and a half years ago, I broke my back. And when I say broke my back, my spine collapsed. Um, I had bone fragments stuck in my nerve canal on my left side and my spine, my lowest joint, it actually collapsed. And um, it, it's been a, it, it was a struggle. It's been a struggle for me the last two and a half years, but it's also been the best blessing I've ever had in my life. And you know, people talk to me about it and they're like, man, that's so sad. But my mindset has always been, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. I'll repeat that again, it's the best thing that ever happened to me and here's why. And this is really where I've seen growth is coming from choosing to have a mindset of gratitude and progress and what can you learn from it, like being very constructive. And um, back when it happened, I was being, I was an IFBB pro. I was traveling and competing and I was working I mean, so many hours at the same time. I had sponsorships all over the world and it was a hectic, hectic life. And I was going way too fast. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this in your life, but most of the time, life has this funny way of humbling you when you need it the most. And it did. I went on a hot hike one day, and I, um, it's this amazing hike that I have really close to my house, and there's a quadruple um, peak, and I did it in 52 minutes. It was the fastest I've ever done. It's like 20 minutes faster than I've ever done anything before. I was 235 pounds running up and down uh, mountains, and yeah, not being very nice to my body, but anyway, one morning after that hike, that I, when I broke my record, I, I couldn't get out of bed. So I went and I got an MRI and it showed that I had a collapsed spine. And I went to five different surgeons trying to find the best way for me to actually fix my back because all, all the conclusions they come up with is that I was only a candidate for be able to have your fat back fused. And people don't know what a fusion is in your back is they go in with metal plates and they create a space inside of your, you know, because your joint is collapsed. So they have to reopen it again. They put metal in there to make sure it stays open. And Normally, if that locks in the joint, you'll have to have multiple back surgeries. So it's a very complicated process and it's something that's the last resort, right? But that was all I was getting. So I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I am not going to subject myself to this. I'm going to try whatever I can. So I did so many different alternative treatments. Like I eliminated all stress in my life, right? I um, was able to cut down my work hours to half. Um, I gave up competing. I just basically started just giving up anything that was an escape for me from really focusing on what was important to me. And I think that was the biggest step I've ever taken in my life into just completely surrendering into growth. Just completely surrendering into the fact that I was broken. Not just my back, my life was broken. It was completely broken. And I knew it, you know. I knew it in the back of my mind that things were not going the way I wanted it to go. But I was continuing down a path that was, you know, chasing worldly success. And this is really the background of why I even started this podcast as well because I was, I was really just... You know the model of what success is supposed to look like. I, I I use that as a crutch for me, an excuse for me to just continue my behaviors of working too much and uh, avoiding relationships and avoiding issues and avoiding my children and all these things that I know now completes me. But really, those those first three months after it happened were hell. You know, you, you have a guy who goes to the gym seven days a week, and at that time I was running between fifteen and thirty mile trail running in the mountains every single every single week as well. You go from that to nothing. And there, there are some serious withdrawals that comes from that, the, the lack of endorphins and exercise and all the things that comes with that had to go away. But after three months, 
I was actually after you know the first month, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to the gym today. It's okay. What am I going to fill my time with instead of going to the gym? And I started, like I said, putting everything away. There was an escape for me, alcohol or the gym or boring relationships, um, my work, anything that I would escape my, from, from my pain I hadn't processed from my divorce, I, I put it away. Um, I started reading, I started going to seminars. I spent six months in utter pain every single day where I did not want to wake up in the morning. I had some incredible spiritual experiences along that way and things that are so profound to me and so beautiful to me in so many ways. I got to experience in those six months through the pain. Um, I got to read so many books. Um, people got to influence, I allow people to come in and influence my life in some incredible positive ways. I formed some incredible relationships um, along those six months as well. And it was really, really amazing for me to watch. And so after I started getting out of that, out of that almost depressed, it wasn't even a depressive state because it was just a painful, hurtful identity crisis state. And anybody out there has ever been in, you know, physical, worse physical pain like my back is nothing compared to waking up and not wanting to get out of bed because your heart just hurts so bad. It's so broken. And I spent six months in that state. And as soon as I started getting out of it, you know, I started auditing. Okay. So I just spent, you know, three months, no, six, nine months, um, basically down. Right. And I was like, what, what am I going to do from here on out? Am I going to continue down the path that I was at before and start diving into all the escapes again? Or what am I going to do? And I started making some agreements with myself on how I wanted my life to be. I started setting parameters um, up for how I want to conduct my behaviors, the person I want to be, um, the behaviors I want to have. I started building what I call the non-negotiable behavior system for myself um, in, um, in a very powerful way, in a way that I've never, ever, ever thought about doing, um, doing before. And it just all came to me, and I was just in a incredible state of mind I started writing my book that I've released I started just being so creative because I opened up basically I opened up my heart again I was allowed to feel again I started being aligned with myself again so a lot of the coaching I do today they all stem back from my back injury and this is why I'm just I'm so grateful for my back injury I can't even tell you how like where I would be at in life today if I didn't have that humbling factor that happened to me and I'm just super super grateful for it and so I learned a lot of humility I learned to have gratitude I learned to meditate. I learned to appreciate relationships. I learned to put my time into my, my two amazing children and the responsibility it is to be a father. My mission in life, and this is, you know, we all have an end game that we were thinking about, you know, and, and me, I want to leave, you know, my children with a legacy of being able to be able to be the artists of their own life, right? I'm not going to enable them in any way, but I'm going to give them the education they need in order for them to put their life together that, that they want it. Really putting my children in focus and making sure that I understand that they are very, very different individuals with very different goals and very, very different passions. But I want them to have such a deep toolbox emotionally for when they have to go through hard times, they'll be able to pick that out and be able to grow from any experience. I want to have a bulletproof mindset. That's what I want to do for my children. I want to keep being a freaking role model and an inspiration for how they're supposed to live their life and how they're supposed to be a father or mother or like that's what I feel like my role is. It's not about building uh, wealth for them so they can be enabled and have and have everything in life. No, I mean, I know I come from nothing, absolutely nothing, uh, poverty, and I'm, I'm grateful for that too. I, I wouldn't be the person I am today if I, had, if I just had gotten everything. I need, I need, I'm one of those people I have to, I have to learn the hard way. And, you know, when you come from nothing and you have nothing, then you start gaining a little, then there's a lot of appreciation for it. Like where am I, my, am, where I'm at in my life right now and the peace and the state I'm in right now, no money could ever buy my way out of that. I was talking to a friend yesterday about going back, working nine to five, for example, and nothing gets working nine to five, but for me, it doesn't work. It does not work for me to work nine to five. Um, it's just not, I, 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 you know, one of my top things in this world that I appreciate is freedom. And so I know for some people it's the best thing that they do and that's what they need. So I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but for me personally, working that was killing me. And so being able to pull out of that and, and live a life and just complete freedom and alignment with myself has just been absolutely incredible. Being able to have a balanced life where I can now focus on my children. I can now focus on myself. I can, I can fill my own cup, you know? And um, when I was talking to my friend, I was like, what would, what, what would it be like to go back? Like, Nobody could pay me enough money to go back. Well, that's not true, but 
realistically, I don't think there's anybody who would ever give me a paycheck where I go back and somebody tell me that I can have two, two weeks of vacation, tell me that I can be sick, setting rules and boundaries for me because then I would not be able to do what I do. And what fulfills me is to help other people. I love seeing the, you know, the light comes on in somebody's eyes when they have a paradigm shift in front of me. It's so beautiful. And that's where I come alive too, so that's what I need. And I know that now and I have that self-awareness and that self-awareness journey is just was so crucial for anybody to understand your intention, your purpose behind every action you take and living in alignment and in, and in complete you know, agreement with yourself. You understand everything you do and you understand the consequences, you understand the benefits and you dive into the directions that will lead you towards your end game. And if you stray away from it, you're in agreement with yourself that you understand this and there could be no regret. You can repeat that cycle over and over and over again. You bought, your whole life will become aligned. Your relationship will become amazing. And this is really the pinnacle of what I coach on, the non-negotiable behavior system and the self-awareness system as well. And we build a life where you live in alignment. We create agreements with yourself that you can actually stick to. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's wealth or it's health or whatever it might be, relationships. It all comes down to the same thing, and that is living in agreements with yourself. It's about constantly working for your future self, and that's really what I learned with my back is, what does my future self want? Because my future self has to live for my present self. My present self is my future self from this morning, right? So we have this duality that we have inside of us that we are always living with, and it's so important to be aware of that. As you come home and from a work day, and your bedroom is a mess because your former self didn't clean up that bed, what the fuck, you know? Like, why did I just do that this morning? Or why did I stop and at the gas station got that donut? You get pissed off at that former self. And you can stop that with awareness. And it's not gonna happen overnight, but with practice and working that self-awareness muscle, it's so important. Building systems that you can actually look at the benefits and create your emotion and change your emotional attachments towards are crucial as well. So with all this, as I said, my back now, I was into, into got some uh, injections yesterday in it because that's the last thing I want to try before fusion. I could touch my toes for the first time in two and a half years, this, uh, last night. This morning, I could put on my socks without having my children help me. Okay, I've, I've, I've worn um, bare feet many, many days. <laughs> barefoot, I've walked back barefooted um, to work in my, sh in my shoes because I couldn't put on my socks. And it was amazing. I could help a friend with a suitcase and put it in the back of her car without being in pain. All those little things now, I'm so grateful for. I will never take that for granted anymore. It's absolutely incredible. My left leg, I haven't been, I haven't been able to, it's been tensed up, completed for two and a half years. This morning when I was driving, I was relaxed. And it's an incredible feeling. But I will always remember why this happened to me, what I had to learn from it, and I'll take this and I will be cherished every single day and I'll be grateful for every lesson hard or easy that I had to learn. I've written it all down and I will, I will live like this for the rest of my life and I'll challenge you to do the same thing. I would love for you to just, as your weekly challenge, to really just sit down and audit your life. Go through, go through your life with your self-awareness and, and start identifying the, the, the aspects of your life that are not in alignment with where you wanna go in life. And start making some changes. Start putting yourself first. Start understanding who you're, where your intimate circle is and who has earned your vulnerability so you don't get negative feedback from the from the people around you who are trying to hold you back and hold you down. You gotta free yourself up from that. So go out and identify those relationships that are toxic and put them on pause to try to neutralize them. It's so important for your growth if you feel stuck right now. So that's the challenge of the week. Thank you so much for listening. Please make sure that you subscribe to this podcast and rate it and everything else. We've had people from over 50 countries now listen in, which is absolutely incredible. I would love to keep that going. Also give it a share if you feel like it's something that resonates with you or somebody needs to hear this message. But thank you so much for today, and I will be back next week with Thoughts of the Week.